All right, who we got? Mint Burr, rank 5,413. So we're not going to get too many points if we win this. Um, Interesting team. Pretty interesting team. The lead, uh, I mean, they, they honestly really don't like Lele Feeble, even though I'm not a big fan of bringing it to Groudon. I think I did it once, but that was just mo more for fun. But yeah, uh, they're not a big fan of Lele Feeble with like anything on this team. It, it covers like most things. All right, let's see what they go with. What's the gimmick with the Thievul? Not necessarily a gimmick. It's honestly a genuine support. Um, basically, Thievul has Seed, and it's very, very bulky, so it's able to spam Snarl, Howl, um, Foul Play, Fake Tears. Like, it's just a very good support mon. Uh, I should be able to take away their... The Reggie Lecky. I don't think I get KO'd by this. I don't think I get KO'd by this um, Weavile. And it'd be preferable if the Weavile actually KO'd the Thievul, if anything. Is there any reason not to go for Moonblast? Not really. I mean, Entei could come in, but still. I could also just get rid of Weavile. Weavile is more threatening, all things considered. So I'm going to Moonblast and uh, Snarl. That's actually really solid on the on the Regieleki. I prefer a Volt Switch over uh, an Electroweb, all things considered. Excuse me? Interesting. All right, if we take a triple axle on anything, I really hope it's the Thievul. Poison Jab. Uh, Lele probably lives because of the bulk. Yeah, nice. Let's get rid of you. Awesome. And I can actually keep the Lele in the back now. <clears throat> Thievul's still faster than plenty of Pokemon on their team. There's the Groudon. Probably just going to electro again. So I'm going to go ahead and switch into my Lando. And... Yeah, I'm going to go into Lando here. And while Foul Play probably won't KO the Regieleki, I can get some decent damage on it. Actually, I mean, it's White Herb on the... Yeah, it's White Herb on the freaking... What's it called? It was White Herb on the Weavile, so I really doubt it's, you know, the Groudon... <laughs> I mean, obviously it can't be, but, um, let me just go for damage on the ground. I know it's going to be at minus one, but this is still good damage. And it's at least guaranteed, you know, the chip's going to be really nice. And I still have the Scarf Lele in the back. Right, you like he protects, incredible. I also probably live Prespus Blades now, so they gotta be scared of that. They fire punched me. Hello? Burn. Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. Do they have a Rillaboom? No, they don't. Um, I should be able to secure a KO on, like, everything, but... I'm gonna fake Tears the Grout on, actually. Yeah. I'm gonna Earth Power here. Um, if they have Hydreigon, it's really no big deal because I still have Scarf Lele. I'm going to fake Tears Groudon. And because the Regieleki is at minus one, I should take a hit. Yeah. So fake Tears is going to be really clutch there. Kind of hoping it's Entei. And I think it will be. Oh yeah, they're not going to like this. They're not going to like this damage. Definitely not Assault Vest either, so probably Scarf? Oh, it's Citrus Berry.
Fire Punch, go ahead and take that away from me. I really don't need it. Oh, okay. Groudon. Or, yeah, I guess you can go into Lando. Uh, I'm going to keep my boy, which is incredible. That's incredible. That's incredible. I'm going to go for a Protect here. And I should be able to... Let me go ahead and go for a Foul Play into the Entei. Just because they're likely not going to Protect it and it, you know... You know... <laughs> I'm guaranteed to get in my my Lele at the end of the turn, so this is pretty safe. We go for the Rock Slide, yeah. So now I get in my Lele, lock myself in the Psychic, and win. Since this should be the fastest thing in the field. <clears throat> Unless they protect this turn, in which case they do get some extreme speed. Yeah, and Earth Power into Groudon should be pretty safe. Uh, and I 100% want to get rid of this Entei. Nice. And I think at minus 2, Earth Power should KO from this range. Not quite, not quite. But if they do decide to go for a contact move, they, they lose their... <laughs> they lose their... um. The Groudon privileges. Get him my Zacian. Gonna protect the Zacian this turn and target into the Regieleki to remove their speed control option. And if they even think about going for like a fire punch into this um into this Lando, they're not gonna have a good time. Yep, let me go ahead and Earth Power here. Go for the Protect. I could also double Protect, and that's just as safe. If not safer, because I stole out Sun. <clears throat> yeah, I'll do that. Because they're going to Protect one or the other. And that just makes my final turn a bit easier. Ooh, maybe they didn't Protect at all. Hmm. Hmm. Thunderbolt. Okay. Uh, yeah. My number one priority is going to go ahead and be that Groudon. Heavy Slam's an interesting choice. Fire Punch does more. Actually, does it? I think with the Sun Up, it does more. Anyways. Let me go ahead and do this. Yeah, it should be safe. As long as I get rid... I, as, if I get rid of Reggie Lucky, it's just done. You know, like they, they have no options. There's the T-Bolt. They don't KO. Umith Blade will KO the Groudon, and Earth Power should seal the deal. I'm honestly a big fan of Rocky Helmet uh, Landers. It just feels so nice to use. Like, it feels like such a fun Pokemon, genuinely. And that feels weird describing Landers as a fun Pokemon, but it, it really is this format. It really is. Nice. So we get that KO. All right. Yeah, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Oh, it's AV Groudon. That's why it had Heavy Slam. I was like, how are you running all this? Oh, wait. As soon as he clicked Heavy Slam, I should have known he couldn't protect. But I guess it didn't matter since I already targeted into it. Um... Interesting little set there. What was the item? White Herb? Yeah. Life Orb Hydreigon, does that have Snarl? I feel like Snarl Hydreigon is optimal this format. <laughs> They're max speed, max attack on this guy. And the Hulisk, Throat Spray. Ooh. Very fun team. Like, everything was max, max, but it was oh, still yeah. very fun. Huh. Uh, Amoongus is my best friend in the whole wide world, and I love him with all of my gosh darn heart. Wow, they really hate Amoongus. They also don't particularly like Thievul, which is kind of fun. 
Um, let me do this. Actually, I might go Lele. Organization in the back, yeah. This is really cool. Yo, Mox, uh, how's Thievil working out for you? I loved your Thievil Lele Teraki on the team back in the day. It's going pretty well. Going pretty well. I think we lost like two games this session, but beyond that, like, we've been doing pretty good. I've been climbing back up from that rut I was in a few days ago. I'm going to turn up the in-game audio. I feel like it wasn't loud enough this whole time, but no one said anything. Hopefully it's fine now. Honestly, the Thievil Lele Terrakion team was really fun, but I think Thievil Lele Cobalion was a little bit better. At least synergistically, like, it felt so good. Kalkia Weaver? Oh, yo, this lead? This lead's gonna go crazy. How much you want to bet they think they live this? This lead's gonna go crazy, actually. Halkia typically doesn't have Protect, I think. I'm pretty sure it typically doesn't run Protect. Because they want Dragon, Water, Fire, and then Trick Room. I'm gonna go for it. I really am. A, I could Dazzling Gleam as well, and that would be pretty scary, but... <laughs> I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, it doesn't have Protect usually. Yo! Okay, they might just straight up hand over the Palkia. They might straight up hand over the Palkia. Watch it be Sash Palkia. I'd lose it. I would lose my mind. Probably Goggles Gyarados, judging by the way the team's built. They do have Protect. Um, that's fine, because they have to give something to me. They have to give something to me this turn. Like, they have no switches to this. At least nothing that comfortably switches in on it, and then takes another hit. And Gyarados likely doesn't have much to KO unless they Dragon Dance, in which case I'm just going to Foul Play, so I don't care. I'm going to do the same double. Let me double check, though. Yeah, there's no switch into this. There's straight up no switch in. At least, like, there's there co they could switch something in, but they're not going to like it. As they switch in the Weavile, uh, next turn, I'm fine. Especially if they're not Focus Sash. I suppose the only way this might work out for them is if they're Icy Wind. On the Gyarados, because Icy Wind Gyarados could be a thing. They are Sash, that makes sense, that makes sense. Go for the Iron Head. That shouldn't KO me because it's a Gyarados. Oh yeah, show sure, yeah. Um, all right, peep this. Not really peep this. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of Weavile. I'm going to switch to my Zacian. Zacian should eat this Iron Head like a champ. Could be AV Gyarados, uh, which is a way of dealing with like Xerneas, I suppose. There's the Waterfall, which... Yeah, Zacian eats. They do have to respect the play rough right now. I don't have it, but they have to respect it. The, the fact I don't have it doesn't make a difference as to whether or not they have to respect it.
Hmm. I could sub, which would be a freaking crazy play. I think I just get rid of Gyarados. Like, honestly, it's really hard for them to win once Gyarados is gone. I'm just going to foul play and get damage off. Just do a decent amount. They're going to Trick Room up. I don't really care. Amoongus really throws a wrench in that for them. That KOs, yeah. I don't know why you wouldn't calc to, like, live it. I feel like you can make that a three-shot. Like, even without Intimidate. I feel like you can make that a three-shot. Granted, I just feel like you can, but, I, you know, I feel like that's so safe. To make it a three-shot. There's the Marowak. Um, that's going to be a foul play on my end. I'm going to go ahead and protect. Foul play. Protect. Uh, I'm assuming they're going to take out my my Zacian and my... Or not my Zacian, my Feeble here, but next turn I just get in the um, the Amoongus and go for the Spore and the Marowak. And they definitely aren't running safety goggles. Like, you just don't do that. And they are Lightning Rod. Nice. That's good damage, too. That's good damage. There's the Hydro Pump. I'm cool with it. Uh, I'm going to stay in with my Zacian here. I'm going to stay in because there's a chance they miss. And honestly, Lele is a lot better for the matchup as soon as Trick Room goes away. Let me spore this little guy. Let me, let, me, let me spore this little guy. Let me spore this little guy. Actually, let me think about this real quick. Three turns off to Trick Room. I can just go Lele now. I get, I get more stalling turns by going Lele. A lot more safe. And they could also miss. Go to sleep. As they do miss. Incredible. Uh, I'm going to KO that Marowak now. I think Psychic does it from this range. I, I could Shadow Ball, but Psychic should do it. Yeah, I figured they protect there. If I can get one turn of sleep, that'd be amazing. Yeah, no, that's game. Goodbye. And that should be game. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and double out Nemization here. Assuming I lose it. Go for the Spore. And that's the safest way of winning. They should forfeit here, though. This Palkia probably doesn't have any tools. If they're running Protect, they don't have any tools to deal with Amoongus. Because they revealed Protect, Trick Room, Hydro Pump, and they probably have Dragon or Earth Power. Nice. Doing pretty good. Yeah, let me look. I want to look at that. Yeah, they had Spatial Rend. Uh, pretty... Pretty cool team. All things considered. Stupid Hydro Mess. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. Good game, though. New series at Mambi's Fire. Hey, I appreciate it. I feel like we played this exact same team so many times today. So many times. Each time Lando is really annoying, so I have to really compensate for that. Uh, go Lele Thievul. This time they don't have Suicune, so I don't mind leaving the Amoongus at home. Uh, and I actually really like Lando, yeah. Hey, thanks for the sub, Reggie Sapien. Gyarados was AV with Power Whip, Crunch, Waterfall, and Iron Head. Ooh. Yeah, when, when I saw how much the... Um, when I saw how much I did to it, I was like, I think that's AV as like some, because I don't know why we'd run Iron Head on it if you weren't trying to like tank a hit from uh, Xerneas and then hit it back, you know? So I was like, it's probably like some kind of Xerneas check.
That's the wrong camera. Hi guys, what's up? <laughs> All right. Uh, we got two clips made today, apparently. Who made the clips? <laughs> or am I, or is that not it? No, that's, I don't know if that's, yeah, how long Someone made a clip. I don't know what the clip is. Dorotheus, how you doing? This one's probably gonna be the last battle of the night, but don't worry guys, I go live on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And also, if we manage to hit 50 subs before the end of the month, I will start streaming on Saturdays. We're at 31. It'll be around the same time. Just on a Saturday. To go Lando Regilecki. Landorus, you are my prime target. If I get rid of you, this becomes so much easier. For target number one. Uh, I'm going to hit him with the Snarl and the Psychic. Yeah. Primary target, Landorus. They could switch out, they could protect, it's whatever. They protect, that's fine, that's fine. What matters is the uh, the snarl that's going off right here. As long as I connect on the Reggie like you, we're good. They also might not even Electroweb, which they definitely should. They Volt Switch. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, That essentially implies they're handing over their, their Lando next turn, if not something else, which is great for me. That's great for me. And we also haven't revealed Scarf yet. Gozation. I mean... They kinda gotta hand something over here. They just gotta hand something over here. They really have no safe switchings except for Rillaboom if they got it. They probably do, probably do. Actually, no, that's their whole team. What am I saying? No, no, that's three. I'm stupid. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm going for it. I'm taking a piece. I need to take a piece right now. It's a little greedy, but I gotta take a piece. There's uh, Finny. Finny still doesn't like this, so I'm cool with it. In fact, if I lose my Lele here, I get in my Zacian for free, which is awesome. I actually would very much enjoy losing my Lele, all things considered. Yeah, solid chunk. As they go for the play rough and they miss. I'm sorry, dude. This Pokemon's just built different. Pokemon really is just built different. With that newfound knowledge, let's do this. We know they don't have any kind of Intimidator on their team, so this is going to be really good for us. We put on a lot of pressure by doing this. I'll take it. Get rid of my Feeble. Get rid of my Feeble. Honestly, get rid of the feeble. I'll take it. All right, now it's uh, now it's a little scary. A two admit it, it's getting a little scary. Uh, my bold prediction is that they're going to. Probably protect their Zacian here. I can take the opportunity to do this. Protecting Zacian is the safest way of dealing with this. I'm 
Nice. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. They've lost their privileges. If they go into Lando, I'm willing to risk the speed tie. If they don't, um, if they go into Reggie Lucky, I'm going to go ahead and just protect KO. Oh, have we gotten any Rage Quits tonight? We got two Rage Quits at the, at the beginning. Alright, they're going to Lando. I'm just going to go ahead and risk the speed tie. I'm just going to risk it. It's definitely worth it. Especially with Scarf Lele in the back. Like, that's 100% worth it. Ah, they went first. Okay, who's it into? Probably mine. Yup. <laughs> and that's why I went for the Earth Power too. Luckily this does literally nothing. And when I mean literally nothing, when I say literally nothing, I mean literally it did nothing. Alright, um... Time to do an epic bait. Time to do an epic bait. They know I'm Scarf, right? Evil is no longer necessary to my game plan. I'm going to go ahead and Earth Power. I just want them to KO the Thievil so I get Lele in for free next turn. That's it. Unless they double into the Lando, which it's never safe to do that right now. That's why I did this. That's why I'm doubling. Um, unless they double into my Lando, they um, they always lose their Zacian here. Well, I guess they could also protect, but they lose something is the point. How are we doing? We're doing pretty good. Pretty good tonight. There we go. There we go. That's a way to end it. That's a way to end it. Nice. Okay, cool.